Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to scale a 4 to 20 milliamp value in a structured text routine. This is actually very similar to what we did in the compute instruction in ladder logic. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. Now, we also have structured text, and this is one that kind of, I, I kind of laugh a little bit when people complain that structured text has zero use. Next thing I ask them, well, what do you think of the compute statement? Oh, the compute statement is the greatest thing there is. Well, guess what, guys? The compute statement that we used here, and you know, somebody smart at Rockwell may even would tell you, is the way I see compute statement is it's a mini subroutine with one line in it. And it comes right back here. So we're going to right click, new routine, and this is our structured text. And it's going to be a type of structured text. And then we're going to hit this JSR here. Copy, paste, get ourselves a structured text. And actually, while I'm here, now watch this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Control A, Control C. Actually, make sure you saw that. Right click, copy. All right, we're going to put those in there. That's going to get our structured text routine running. And mainly, I didn't do anything to this one. It's the exact same as it was. I just copied it. Now I'm going to go down here to structured text. So here's our structured text routine. I'm going to hit that to edit it. And we're going to put scaled. Now notice the function block of the ladder and that ladder dent we made her here. I'm going to put structured text. And then you put colon equals. That's how we put an equals. If you just put equals, that's a compare statement. Colon equal means go write something somewhere. So colon equals means whatever I put after this, you're gonna to write to that structured text. And now I'm gonna put paste, or actually I'm gonna right click so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna right click right here, and I'm gonna hit paste. Bam! That is exactly what is in our compute statement. And then here at the end of it, the only thing, and I forget this probably 50, may I actually, I probably forget this 75 to 90% of the time, is you gotta have a semicolon at the end of this. Now the only thing is, I just typed this, stru scale structure text, so we need to right click it, and it's new tag right there, just like we normally do in all the rest of them. And again, I'm gonna make this one real. Okay, and now we're gonna put that in there. And now we go to our scale values. Let me close that up. Close that one up so you don't have to scroll so much. And, oops, what did I do wrong? What? Oh, again, you gotta sort. Once you add it, it adds it to the bottom. Okay, now we have a scaled function block. We have a scaled ladder. Oh, okay, that scale dents in the way. We're not using it anymore. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight it. You didn't know if you're not using something, you can highlight, right click, delete, bam, it's gone. Make sure you know that you're, there's no verify on that. That's probably something we should do in a video. Is yeah, with that delete button I just did, that, that thing is gone, no more. There's no undo on it either. Okay, but now look, all these values are identical. And so yeah, we'll, we'll drop it to 20 milliamps. And yeah, we're still 19.9998, which is pretty close. And we're gonna drop down to four milliamps. And at four milliamps, there you go. They're all identical, right at 4.01. So here is how, you one, here is a compute statement. And yes, a compute statement is a mini structured text routine. So if you say you hate structured text, and you think that the compute statement is awesome, then you have, a crisis on your hands because they're the same thing. Here it is in function block. And I'll admit, function block is the best way in Studio 5000 to do this scaling, in my opinion. And you have structured text. And honestly, this, I can't knock this. Now, I do, I do need to knock one thing because here's another thing that's not there by default. Is I'm going to right click. Where is it? Am I right clicking in the wrong place? Options. Uh, do, John, do I have a recommendation on where to learn structured text? We're actually getting ready to do 
a structured text lesson series. Some basics, they're going to be a lot like this, is they're going to be Rosetta Stone type things. So we're going to show how to do something ladder, we're going to show how to do something in function block, and we're going to show how to do something in function and in structured text. So we can see how they function exactly the same. But there is an issue here with structured text in Ruckman. And this is, you know, this, I don't know why they do this, except for maybe it does, maybe, a, I'm not sure why. Inline value display by default is do not show. So by default, you're looking at this. And this is why people don't, this is what gives structured text a bad rap, I think, in Studio 5000. If I was looking at this and I want to know what my value is, I can't figure it out. I can mouse over it and get a quick snapshot. I can mouse over this and get a quick snapshot. But I can't see the actual value. In fact, let me make sure you see that. Right now we're 3277. I just bumped this up to five. It still shows 3277. I'm gonna move off of this and move back onto it. And now we can see the new value. And yeah, over here we can see the new value. But it does not live update when you mouse over this. So there's a couple things we could do though. Is one, I can right click structured text right here and I can watch tags. And now I can type scaled structured text. And bam, I can see the value there. And then I can also, I can go ahead, while we're here, let's throw local colon one, colon, oops, not one, um, four, colon, I dot channel zero data. And there, there's your two values. The watch window can be very useful in this. But I personally like having this show, at least show and monitoring. Maybe in show always. And here's where I think, I think show with monitoring is probably the great compromise is show with monitoring or for offline, it keeps everything compact and your line numbers are really easy to see and it's easy to compare things. And yeah, but I think this is just so valuable. But you could do a watch window, but now we can see every value. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.